Hello guys, welcome to Coding Byte. If you're using an old laptop or computer with low system resources, you can't enjoy the full power of Linux distro like Ubuntu as it demands high resources. But that does not mean you have no options available for Linux distro for an old laptop. Many lightweight Linux distro let you enjoy a lag-free computing experience on your old computer and give you a visually appealing graphical desktop. So in this video, we are going to look at the 10 lightweight Linux distro for your old spec PC. If you have a decent hardware configuration, the Linux Mint XFC edition will be a great option to have. While being an Ubuntu-based distro, it also features the XFC desktop which makes it good enough for some old computers. Considering that Linux Mint is one of the best Linux distro, you can also try other editions like Cinnamon or Mate. LXLE is actually a respin to the Lubuntu LTS version. Now that Lubuntu ships with LXQT by default, LXLE is a great option for users who want to use the LXDE desktop environment. Despite being a lightweight Linux distro, LXLE tries to provide an intuitive UI and eye candies. The system is tweaked to improve performance and comes with a wide range of lightweight applications installed by default. Q4OS is a Debian-based distribution that aims to provide a fast experience while also offering a 32-bit option. In fact, it is one of the best options for 32-bit systems. It features the Trinity desktop for 32-bit edition and the KDE Plasma desktop on the 64-bit image. It may not offer the best-looking user interface, but it is simple and it is indeed screaming fast on older hardware. You can easily try this on your old computer to test it out. Crunchbang++ is also known as CBPP. Crunchbang++ is the clone of Crunchbang Linux which has been discontinued. Crunchbang++ supports old computers and runs without any issue. Crunchbang++ is based on Debian 10 with a minimal design interface. Some of the default applications in Crunchbang++ are Gearney Eye, Terminator Terminal Emulator, Thunder File Manager, GIMP for image editing, Vunier Image Viewer, VLC Media Player for music, XF Burn CD, DVD Burning Software, and so on. It may not be the best one around for every user but you can give it a try and see it yourself. Antix is a lightweight Linux distribution based on Debian Linux. If you are looking for something that does not include system, this is a great option. Antix also uses an ICEWM window manager to keep the system running on low-end hardware. It doesn't have much pre-installed software so the ISO file size is around 700 megabytes. You can always download and install more software later if you have access to an active internet connection.
Even though Absolute Linux is undoubtedly one of the best lightweight distro for desktops, it doesn't always get the attention it deserves. Based on Slackware, the 64-bit OS comes pre-installed with Firefox, LibreOffice, Inkscape, GIMP, Google Earth, Calibre, and more. It is version compatible with Slackware, which means you can use almost any package from the same version of Slack on Absolute. Development libraries for everything come with the default installation, making it possible to code, build almost anything from the source. Absolute Linux is one of the least resource-intensive distro on this list, thanks to the lightweight ISWM window manager. It also includes many convenient custom scripts and utilities for easy installation, configuration, and maintenance. Do note that there's no live mode, but experienced users can add and remove packages from the install media to create a customized distro of their own. Portius is a Slackware-based distro that is designed to be completely portable and run on removable media such as a USB stick or CD but can just as easily be installed on a hard disk. The distro is incredibly fast as it's small enough to run entirely from system RAM. The unique selling point of Portius is that it exists in a compressed state and creates the file system on the fly. Besides the pre-installed apps, all additional software for the distro comes in the form of modules, making the OS very small and compact. Portius is available for 32-bit and 64-bit machines. The distro provides users with the choice of KDE, Mate, Openbox, LXQT, Cinnamon, XFC, and LXDE desktop environments when downloading the ISO image. Crunchbang was a very popular Debian-derived distro specifically designed to use as few system resources as possible. While it was discontinued in 2013, the community fondly remembered its lightning speed and responded with two Crunchbang-based distro to continue its legacy. One of those successors is Crunchbang++ and the other is Bunsen Labs. And its current release, Lithium, is based on the latest stable version of Debian featuring a gorgeously configured openbox window manager and its own repository of core packages. The distro ships with an assortment of themes and wallpapers, and includes a number of everyday desktop apps to provide a very usable out-of-the-box experience. Bunsen Labs is available for both 32-bit and 64-bit machines, and the developers recommend running the distro on a machine with more than 2GB of RAM. Sparklinux is another lightweight distro but at the same time, it also targets modern computers. Depending on what you need, you will find two variants of Sparklinux. One is based on Debian's stable release and the other is based on Debian's testing branch. So, you can opt for any one you see fit. In addition to the variants, you will also find different editions of ISO to download. For instance, an LXQT desktop based edition, a game over edition with pre-installed stuff, and so on. You can head down to their download page and click on stable or semi-rolling releases to find all the additions listed.
One of the all-time favorite lightweight Linux distro, Puppy Linux, is a Unix-like operating system primarily meant for netbooks, older systems, and live CD. The OS can run from RAM, with the latest version taking up barely about 300 megabytes of space on 32-bit systems, and 600 megabytes on 64-bit PCs. Official system requirements for Puppy Linux include a 600MHz processor and 256MB of RAM, which means even PCs from the late 1990s should be able to run this without any issues. Please let us know which one you are going to install on your old computer. Thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and feel free to use the comment box to suggest us more topics to work on. See you next time.